Yes. I'm Eric. Hello. My name is Zizu. I wanted to ask you, Switzerland is really cold, right? Not always, but most of the time. <laughs> there isn't too much livestock. So why do they call uh, so why do they call you the goat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> some fans some fans call me that. Uh, I don't call myself that, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of animals in Switzerland, <laughs> and goats are part of the the livestock we have over there. Yes. <laughs> say to you, what are you gonna get me, Roger? Yeah. And then what, say, what, are what are you gonna get me? What are you gonna? What do you get? Me? What are you gonna get me? <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> what present are you gonna get me? What do you <laughs> admire most about Roger on court, and what? admire most about him as a man off the court? I don't want to look like I am I'm gonna be his boyfriend. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's enough just to love it and then just to do it and go out and win it. It's not that simple. You need to have um, structured goals. You need to tell yourself, okay, what are my goals for the short term? What are my goals for the long term? Now that I've accomplished almost everything, um, I'm, I'm supposed to go out on the tennis court thinking, let's just play free, let's just hit the ball, who cares, you know? But this is not how you're going to win matches because it comes down to margins and you have to be um, so clear in your mind exactly what you want to do and what you want to achieve. And for me, it doesn't work without any goals, without any targets, I cannot compete. Because I don't care how good you are in your presentation, in your knowledge, how well organized it is. I don't care about your PowerPoint presentation. Who you are behind the words will be more powerful than the words you speak. A setback is a setup for a comeback. A setback is a setup for a comeback. I said you have something special. I'm telling you what I know. You have greatness in you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. I don't even know you, but I'm telling you what I know from my own experience. And greatness, ladies and gentlemen, greatness, it's a choice. It's not your destiny. Most people never discover their greatness. Most people, ladies and gentlemen, go to their graves living a life of mediocrity, living a life far below their potential. Oliver Wendell Holmes said most men and women go to their graves with their music still in them. tonight and share it with Rafa, really. If there's any envy with me looking at these two great champions, it's the fact that they've been, on, been able to face off so many times on so many big occasions. They still seem to get along. You know what you're going to give me for Christmas yet? Or? You know what? I'm going to play an exhibition. <laughs> uh, that was uh, one guy you mentioned, Dion Borg. I had three or four rivals. A couple of those guys I didn't get along real well with. But the main thing with rivals is that they make each other better. And I think it's pretty clear over the years, you've seen how much better these top guys have gotten because they've been forced to by each other. Do you see yourself playing, uh, I guess he's 10 years older than you, more or less? Yeah. Would, would you like to be playing 10 years from now? <laughs> it's 
causing us a problem, you know. We, all, we have to play so much longer. We, th we all thought we could retire at 31, 32. <laughs> now it's 35, 36, still going, you know. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see. You know? you set yourself goals, you can never question yourself because you just move from one to the next and you say, it's going to be okay. And the best thing I've done, to be honest, in the last 10 years, I think it was question myself in the best of times. When things are going great, what more can I do? How much better can I become? How much harder can I train? You are involved in any area of life. Let us say you got to have drive. Together, got to have drive. Let us say kick it up a notch. Yeah. See, when you are presenting, I tell and train my speakers, you've got to kick it up a notch. You've got to have power, feeling, and conviction. You can't be casual. See, if you're casual about your dream, you will end up a casualty. As bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Is Roger Federer greatest of all time? It's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. That's, you don't have to answer that one.